Melolite versus Zoho campaigns. Now, this video is going to be a quick comparison. I'm going to show you things that you need to know about these two email marketing softwares, including the pros and cons, the pricing, and which one overall is better for you. So, if you are interested in learning more about these two email marketing softwares, then keep watching as this is going to be the most valuable video you ever watch. Okay, so the first thing that I want to mention about both of these is the fact that they are very similar products in what they are. So what both of these are is drag and drop email marketing autoresponders. So if I just show you right here in the features, you can see that with both of these, you get this drag and drop editor where you can choose from a bunch of templates, which I will show you in a second. Let's say I want to add logo and social links. I just simply drag it in like that and it would go in. Same with Zoho. It's the exact same thing, just like this, where you drag and drop this in from the side. Now, which would I say is better out of these two user interfaces? Look, it is very, very close. However, in my opinion, as you can probably see just from here, MailerLite is slightly better in my opinion. It just feels more updated. It feels more new and it feels like it has more features. So that is that is the first thing that I would say. Now, another thing that both of these have, and this probably sounds like a small detail, both of these have really incredible templates. Now, if you have been email marketing for a while, you're probably thinking, wow, that's incredible because you realize just how important templates are for creating professional looking emails. Like if we look at some of these templates right here, they are absolutely fantastic. Like we have these welcome templates, birthday templates, newsletters, deals and offers, and they are absolutely fantastic. We have the exact same thing on MailerLite, where we can go through and choose from a bunch of templates. Now, templates, would I say that one's particularly particularly better than the other? Not really. Like, maybe you can look at one of these and say, yeah, I, I prefer one to the other. Uh, but I think that both of these look very, very professional. And the templates are some of my favorite features because I, I just love to do this. I'm so lazy with my email marketing that I will just come in here, find a template that I like the look of, and then just hop right in and edit it to fit the email that I want to send. But apart from that, like, look, guys, the main thing that these two email marketing softwares is built for is the same thing. As I said, it's a drag and drop email marketing autoresponder. So the main thing that it's going to come down to is, of course, the pricing. So if we head into here, we can see that both of these softwares have free trials. So with a Zoho campaigns, you can try out a 14 day free trial with no credit card required. And uh, it doesn't matter which plan you choose. You can always try out this free trial. So that is awesome. And then on MailerLite, you can see uh, that we actually have two different types of free trials here. So the first type of free trial is the free account. Now this is completely free um, and you can have this account up to 1000 subscribers. So you can have a maximum of 1000 subscribers on this account and use it for free. And then if you go over like 1001, 1002, then you have to upgrade. But for free, this is pretty awesome. You can also send 12,000 monthly emails and you get all the features that you need. So that is the first type of free trial. And then the second is pretty similar to how the Zoho free trial works, where you can have as many subscribers as you want. But instead of a 14 day free trial, you can actually pick up a 30 day free trial on MailerLite. So MailerLite is winning here by far on the free trial. So that is what I would say. And if you want to pick up a free trial to either of these softwares, you get like double the amount of time with MailerLite. Plus, if you have a small email list, you can try out this free account as well. But that is only one element. Let's actually take a look at the pricing. So the first thing that I will say is, do you want to go for standard or professional? Realistically, with Zoho, you have to go with professional because this is the only way you get the autoresponder. With the standard version, you don't get any autoresponder. So you basically need to go with professional. But on the plus side, you do get unlimited emails. So that is very, very nice. Like you don't have to sit there and worry about how many emails you've sent this month. Like you do with so many email autoresponders. Uh, so that is very, very nice. Now, what I'm also going to do is flick this to euros. Because for some reason, uh, I'm in the UK, by the way. So I can't put zoho to dollars which is a little bit annoying but either way uh, that doesn't really make a difference we'll just compare in euros so let's say that you have a decent sized email list of 5,000 people on zoho this is going to cost you 52 euros per month so that is that is actually a pretty decent price with MailerLite, 5,000 people on the list. Now, once again, which one would you go for? Growing business or advanced? Now, with MailerLite, you can actually go for the cheaper plan. Once again, because you get the email automation builder, the drag and drop editor, 
basically everything you need. And with the advanced, all you get is Facebook integration, custom HTML editor. This is very, very advanced things that as a beginner, you don't really need. So for 5,000 people, MailerLite is going to cost you $29 per month, which is a lot cheaper than Zoho campaign. So that is what I would say. It's a lot, lot cheaper. Even if we go up to like 20,000 contacts, um, Zoho campaign, 123. MailerLite, 105. So actually, the more you go up, or the more people you have on your list, the cheaper that Zoho gets. So that's actually very, very interesting. Let's actually bump this up further and go 30,000 contacts. And okay, so once again, it's still more expensive. And I was actually expecting it to kind of overlap there and maybe get cheaper. Um, let's just do 50,000 as the last check. 230, 215. Okay, so when you're at the start and when you have a small email list, the difference in how much you pay is crazy like 29 compared to 52 dollars but the more you go up the kind of like the smaller that gap gets either way zoho campaigns is still more expensive but mailer light does kind of catch up with it a little bit so which one would i go for for me guys it's a no-brainer it's a slightly slightly better software and it is cheaper so for me the winner by far is mailer light and that is what i would go with so that was MailerLite versus Zoho campaigns. Now, if you actually go ahead and sign up with either of these tools, all I ask is that you do so using the links in the description. Now there are affiliate links, so if you sign up using them, I'm going to receive a small commission or a kickback on the sale at no extra cost to you. It's kind of like a token of appreciation if you learned something or you got value from this video. So that would be very much appreciated. And until next time guys, take it easy.